what is it you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel nikki here and in today's video i'm going to be talking about a dividend stock that is extremely undervalued right now it'd be a good stock for you to add to the watch list add to the portfolio and possibly pull the trigger on buying so you guys you already know the drill let's get it Ooh, big bad. you're not talking money you can miss me with the chit chat i'm not with the rah rah or the all right, y'all, so I've actually never talked about this stock before on my channel, which is hard to believe because your girl has talked about quite a few things. And if you're interested in some other stock picks I think that you should be looking at in 2022, I will go ahead and link it down in the first comment below. You could check it out after this video. And I'm sorry, y'all, I keep flashing with you, my bra. That is so classless, like, damn, okay. But I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump right into this dividend stock because it's very eye-opening. I don't know why I haven't thought of it before. It is a little bit expensive. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's a little bit pricey. But like I've mentioned in prior videos with a little bit pricier of a price tag, most brokerages that you and I most likely are using do offer fractional shares. And I shouldn't say me because E-Trade, we don't, we don't get that. Pretty much everywhere else you can do that. But you guys, that stock is going to be UPS, United Parcel Service. It's currently trading around the $225 mark as of recording this video. And you know how the stock market goes. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. It could be $102 by this point, I don't know. But right now it's 225. The dividend yield is sitting at a 1.81%, which is not the highest, but it's also very, I think, reliable, decent, and okay. The payout ratio, which is extremely important, is only at a 55%, which means UPS definitely has enough money money to pay us as shareholders said dividend that way we don't have to worry about it being cut anything under 60 is usually super solid anything under 100 is definitely better than anything over 100 i don't recommend unless it's a reit because you know how reits are they got their own they got their own set of rules it almost is a dividend aristocrat it's been paying a dividend ever since it went public in 1999 and earlier in february it announced another dividend increase but this one was pretty substantial it raised its quarterly dividend to $1.50 two cents per share, which is 49% higher than it was in 2021. They only paid $1 and two pretty pennies back in 2021. And that's actually extremely high for a dividend growth. That's pretty nutty, to be honest with you. I mean, you're basically getting like one and a half than what you did before. It's just like, I don't know. That's honestly over time, that's a lot. And if they can continue to keep roaming the dividend like this, maybe really, really, really good, better than I think. So that's putting a forward yield of 2.7. Quite frankly, the next couple things I'm gonna tell you, listen to me. I quite frankly am about to say some shit that I don't 100% understand, but what I do know is it's good. Okay, I don't know the nitty gritty of it, but I know it's good. And that's gonna be that they're currently trading at a 13.4 times their operating cash flow. And I tried to do some research because I heard that went one ear out the other, because you know what? I don't. <laughs> what but what it means or at least what i saw was that anything over one is like really good so 13.4 is like really really good so i was chilling with it and then this next one i really couldn't find anything about but it says and i'm gonna read it because I don't, it says less expensive than its five-year average cash flow multiple of 15.7. So if you know what that means, let me know down below because I guess that's probably good. <laughs> that's probably good. I sound like such an idiot. Anyway, let me know down below. Okay, we still learning, okay, damn. But one thing I really like to hear and what I saw when I was researching the management is that they had a serious goal of getting that payout ratio even lower, 50% or lower, and they're on target to do that in 2022, which is nuts to me considering they just raised the dividend 49%. So these mother truckers must have something up their sleeve because if they pull that off, that's going to be very, very nice. And it's going to be a great incentive to have people invest more into UPS. So I know the Tyler's is best undervalued and quite frankly, the price of UPS at 225, actually, I just checked uh, and it's actually 220 by the end of the market today. So it's even more of a bargain, but I wanted to say it was undervalued because of this dividend. The dividend growth on this is one of the highest I've seen in a long time from a year over year standpoint, a 49% increase. Now I know a lot of us don't have a spare 220 bucks that we can throw at UPS right now for one share, but if you do, you can take advantage of it. If you do have fractional shares, you can take advantage of it. And I think that is what's causing this to be somewhat undervalued and overlooked because that dividend is weighing so heavy on the return that you're going to get. And in my personal opinion, undervalued isn't necessarily always based on the sticker price. Obviously that has a lot to do with it because this is investing, the <laughs> numbers are important, but it has to do with the value of the company Company at a whole. Do you see that it is undervalued? Do you see it's overlooked right now? And outside of these other great dividend increase reasons and price reasons and financial stability reasons, this is probably
probably one of the most comfortable and safe investments you can make because I don't see shipping having really anywhere to go except for either up or continue as is, especially now with the online world we're in and more people, you know, starting their own businesses, needing these things to ship out their inventory, their products. People are doing different things than we saw five years ago. Like the world is different in the terms of business and the way that e-commerce is booming and more entrepreneurs are coming into the scene and making their own lives what they want it to be. This is one industry, one company, one place that I feel extremely confident in saying that you could put money into. And obviously, okay, hold on a second. I'm not a damn professional. Don't, this is for fun. Okay. We're doing this together. Okay. Don't just, don't sue me is all I'm asking, but I never see this slowing down. I always see a need for it. And because of that, I think companies and stocks like UPS are extremely overlooked and extremely undervalued. And with a 49% dividend increase, you can't do much better than that. Let me know down below. If you think I'm nuts, if you think I'm crazy, if you like this, if you agree with me, you disagree with me. If you want to know what I hold in my portfolio relative to the date of me filming this video, there might be, if you're watching this months or years down the line, I obviously will have a different looking portfolio then. But right now, this video right here is going to show you a breakdown of my portfolio, all the holdings, the spreadsheet, the good stuff. If you like making money, having a good ass time, you should consider subscribing to the channel. You guys already know if you made it this far, I absolutely love you. Come here. And you guys, you already know, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.